Um, he stopped working in music, period, and just began working his regular job. He spends a lot of time outside of the home. Um, I hardly ever see him anymore. Lately, he's been getting a lot of texts, and when I ask him who it is, he tells me it's nobody important, or he tells me it's a friend or something, but he won't tell me a name. He tells me he loves me, but only after I say I love you. It's never something that's initiated. He never is emotional with me anymore. Or like I'll try to kiss him or hold him or touch him, and he he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. He I don't understand. In the beginning, it was just fire there, and now it's it's nothing. I opened my heart to him, and I've told him how bad I was hurt before, and. If I find out that that his love is gone and doesn't care. Relationship. Investigation day two. With a perimeter set up around the suspect's workplace, Cheater's agents sit and wait for any sign of Lyric's boyfriend. A little before seven, their patience pays off. The suspect, Kevin Monroe, files out the door of his office building. Monroe hops into his car and drives a few yards to another entrance. Waiting under the eave is an unknown female. She darts through the chilly night and deposits herself into the suspect's passenger seat. Mobile units pursue the couple to a restaurant. Agents keep their cameras trained on the dining duo as they enjoy their entrees and each other. After getting their fill, they less than an hour after Monroe's return from work, they spot their mark angrily exiting the home. He shouts his way to his car and speeds off. Mobile units get in gear and follow the suspect to the apartment complex from earlier surveillance. He trots up the stairs and knocks on the door. An arm is observed pulling him inside. Ten minutes later, Monroe and the apartment's occupant, now identified only as Sasha, exit to the suspect's vehicle. They soon arrive at a nearby grocery store. While the two make their way through the aisles, Monroe's phone constantly rings. He finally excuses himself and answers the persistent caller. Yeah. But why am I asking the phone? I don't really feel like talking right now. What's wrong? Yeah, credit card, uh, my name, that I didn't know about. I'm sorry about that. You're sorry. I'm paying back. I have to do some press kits and press the screen. Oh, no, mm, is that what it was? Do you want to, like, let me know about stuff like that? You went through your money. That's cool. But now you're going through my money. I thought it was our money. Yeah, it is our money, but you're talking about my, my, my percentage and my side of it. Right. Yeah, okay. Hours after his home-cooked meal, Monroe finally exits Sasha's apartment and heads home for what's left of the evening. Investigation Day 6. Mobile units pick up Monroe leaving after a late night at work. Predictably, he shuns his home front for another frontier. He picks up Sasha from her apartment and then zigzags through the streets to a neighborhood pub. Inside, Monroe gets in touch with his inner child by playing some retro video games. After having lost all his quarters, Sasha invites her hero back to her place. They bounce up the stairs and disappear behind closed doors. With more than enough information, Cheater's agents call it a day and return to headquarters to compile the footage. Being with us, I know these circumstances aren't easy and they've been very stressful for you. Our detectives have some information that they thought it was important for you to see and important for you to see quickly. Are you prepared to go forward and find out what information we've been able to compile. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to know. Our investigation began outside of Kevin's place of employment. He exits the building, gets into his car, drives around to the front, picks up a young lady. From there, they head over to a restaurant, enjoy a drink or two for happy hour, before getting back in the car at what we assume to be her apartment. He walks her inside, goes in for a few minutes, exits, hops into his car, and returns home. On this evening, 
After you had already left for booking, Kevin leaves your home, picks up his lady friend, and they go directly to a bar. From our interior surveillance, we were able to capture the movements between the two of them as they enjoy some music, a few drinks. They leave, go to a nearby establishment. We can see, obviously, the two of them have something additional going on, and that's where he stayed for a large part of the evening. Let me go ahead and get a hold of our detective now. I'll let him know that we're on our way and see if he has any information for me. Hey, we finished up the briefing, and we're, we're on the move right now. All right, 5001 Greenville, we need to get close to there. Detectives are outside right now. There's no movement yet. We know where his car is. We're just going to station very closely. When we get there, we're going to have to move quickly. So we'll just be close by, and then it's just a waiting game, okay? Okay. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Right, here's a detective now. Yeah. Movement? Let's go. We're on the move. Just drive into the side parking lot. We'll see him there, and he'll direct us to where their car is. All right, here we go. He should be coming outside. There they are, right there, right, right. there, to our left. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Right right okay, let's move. Watch, oh, watch yeah? Out. Oh, yeah? So this is what you've been doing? What? This is what you've been doing? What's the sound Oh, no. Whoa, oh, Everyone, oh, settle, no. Down. settle down. Settle down. Huh? Settle down. Huh? Settle down. Huh? Did you know about me? Did you know about me? Yeah. You know, did you know about me? Yeah. You know about me? Yeah. We must oh. have. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What? Hold on. Wait. Just chill out. No. No. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. What you doing? What you mean what I'm doing? What you doing? What you talking about? You've been lying to me the whole time. I, I've been told you I ain't want to be with you no more. What you saying? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You did not I tell that. you every day. I, no, you don't. I tell you every you day. Say, you did not say that. Uh, you hey, knew, you knew about me the whole time. Hey. He's moving huh? in with me. All y'all dudes out here, you better grab. Huh? I want to be with you grab anymore. Grab We're going to be with you. Go, you're you're doing too much. You do too much. You too high maintenance. So you leaving? Yeah. You leaving? Yes. All, all this time, all, all this, all this time. No, don't walk away. Don't hey. walk away. Don't, don't walk hey, away. Go, don't, don't walk away. You gotta get him, man. You, no, you ain't about to move. I said, man. No, seriously, I know. You know I ain't gonna put my hands on you, but no. you need to get out of my way. No. Why no. you grab me? You need no. to grab him. No, give me some answers. Give me some answers. Why? I'll give you some answers. I, what you mean? All, all this, all this. All you time? do is complain every day. Anybody, all this, I don't all have time to listen to that every day. All this time. What, what's up with my music? What you mean? What's up, your music? I told you I'm content where I'm at. You don't want to blow up. You do that. Do your thing. I'm tired. Of I, that. T- I tell you, we're not leaving. I gotta come over there every day. Coming up next, the conclusion. So this is what you've been doing? Whoa, well, guys! Everyone, oh, settle, no, settle, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. I tell you, we're not leaving. I gotta come over there every day. Lyric. Kevin, Kevin. That ain't even your real name. Why you going my lyric anyway? Is that your real name? No, it's not. So don't call me. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do it. Don't. Wow, seriously. No, you can stay outside. You can stay your ass outside. Hey, hey, get, get in, get in, man. Watch out, man. I'm trying to leave. Grab her. No, no, man. Grab. You need to tell me something, man. I, t- I told you what I told you. Mm-hmm. I told you I'm gone. I'm gone every day. I got to come on to the same stuff every day. Every day. Tired of it. Done. Through. Well, the- why didn't you move out? What do you mean? If you're unhappy. Well, that's what I mean. It's- I got a key right there. I just moved. Oh, really? I just moved. Oh. Really? Third party is here and it's locked. All right, let's go. Let our ass stay here. Let's just make sure we don't get locked in here. I'm 
around my face, please, sir. Suddenly, so much a man can take. I don't hear If we women. calm her down, will you talk to her? Wait, I'm against the train. There's nowhere to go. Oh, now they go catch the train home together. Camera on my face, man. The camera on my face. You want to ask me some questions or something since y'all keep yeah, the show going? Yeah, but you keep on running. I'm not talking, running. talking to you. I'm talking, talking to Joey. Talking you running. Well, I'm yeah, yeah Joey. I'd like to ask you a few. I'm talking to Joey. I'd like to ask you. Yeah. Ask me some questions because yes, the camera's still following me. Okay. Ask me some questions. Okay. Yeah. If you were as unhappy oh. as you say you are, oh. why oh. did the relationship that's continue? That's not necessary. Oh. Don't worry about it. You know. that's, you not, that's not necessary. Why did the relationship continue? What do you mean? The relationship did continue. This I, relationship. That's not a no, relationship. No, no. If you were as unhappy. I, I said it was over. But why you, did you still day. live? But why did you still live there? What do you mean? That's where I stayed. We had to we shared that place equally. No, no, no. 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 no way. We were supposed no to stay there together. Us. Not you and this trick. No. Not you and this hoe right here. No. You messed no, that up. No, I saw it on video. You messed that up. I saw it on video. Okay. What a video. Why you have her in the house video? like that? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So now you're saying that nothing's going on? Make your mind up. No, because at one point, you keep on. switching it. You well, then, what, then what video do you need to see? We've had detectives Come follow you. you. Kevin, you don't have a video. We, we oh, just right. saw you all over. They follow why would we yeah, need, why would we need, hey, listen up, this listen up, show, Einstein, why would we need Einstein. to make it up Seriously, if you're admitting yourself. to it right Einstein. now? Einstein, honestly, Einstein? Uh, yes, honestly, because you ain't I Kevin Hart. We can do this any way you want. Yeah. You see. I mean, she, it's obvious that she's lying to you because she want to be a star. She want to be on TV. You got your 15 minutes of fame. Really? Yes. Really? Every day. That's not what this is about. You, you know, no. Oh, let's talk about it. You could have told me. Let's talk about it. You could have told me. Oh, no, okay. easy, easy, easy. Okay. Get security. Hang on. We'll, Get security. We'll, we'll protect you. Get security. They can't protect you. They can't okay. protect you. Okay, I DJ. Yeah, I put my time into you. I put my time into you. Why are you, you clapping at me? I'm like, right why are you clapping at me? I put my time into you. All this Making time. Point. All this time. I put my time into you. All you do. Hey, yeah, you claim you're out networking. If you ain't made it, if you haven't made it, you ain't gonna make it. Too, too long to hold on to that dream. Let it go. It's over with. Just give up. Sometimes you can lose. You lose now, you win later. But if you didn't want to be. No. No, 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 that's that's not not every she's, night. she's actually I'll the woman I love. Every night. Okay, yeah. that's, but that's but here's my question, Miss. Seriously, why isn't he living with you now? Oh, he's gonna live with me. Right, now. Well, he could be there. Gonna, he Right, he's been there, keys but he the hasn't house, been. Keys to the car. Now. Train, train why train. haven't? Why has? Why hasn't that happened yeah. before now? Why hasn't that happened before now, it's Kevin? Now. Yeah, well, because you're kind of forced into it happening. Exactly. This isn't your decision. This decision was made for you. Let's get you. Let's get, let's get the vans back around. I just don't know if he made any sense. Coming up next, Cheaters revisits a previous case from its archives. 
I spoke with Glenda once after and just called her a crazy bitch because <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. Realizes her worst fears have come true. At the end of the show, Cheaters divulges her plan of action. But now, Irene Neal comes into Cheaters begging for answers to the questionable red flags raised by her boyfriend's recent actions. Well, right now, we don't live together anymore. We moved back home. But we used to live together after our first year, so like second year, sophomore year, we moved in together. And we had an apartment on campus, and then it got really expensive, so we each moved back home. And so now that we have left apart, that's when I've noticed that we haven't really been connecting as much as we used to. I don't know if it's because the distance and we don't get to see each other every day like we used to, or like being around each other. But it's really, I think it really took a toll on our relationship. Kenneth Kilborn, age 22 a college student accused of taking other courses with another woman. After a quick meeting at headquarters, Cheaters deploys a team of investigators to stake out the home the suspect shares with his parents. After settling in for the night, Cheaters' private eyes spot their target as he leaves. Kilborn drives across town to another neighborhood. The suspect arrives at an unidentified residence. Cheaters watches as Kilborn walks to the front door. A short time later, the suspect emerges with his arm wrapped around an unknown female. The Cheaters mobile unit follows Kilborn and his date to a family entertainment center. Kilborn and his consort enter the building. One night I called him and he didn't pick up the phone, so I was wondering where he was. I sent him a text message and no reply, so the next morning he texted me and he was like, oh, sorry, baby, I fell asleep early. This, this, this work has got me tired and whatnot. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, he's not an early sleeper. He's a night owl. He'll stay up till like 5 a.m. So I thought it was weird. But then at the time, I just kind of let it go because it didn't seem important at the time. And then later on that day, I'm talking to my friend. And then uh, I'm talking with a group of friends. And one of the other girls was like, oh, I saw Kenneth out. And I'm just like, really? And so when I brought it back up to his attention, he was like, oh, no, I don't know. I guess she's got confused about what I look like or who Kenneth is. Maybe there's like another Ken. And I was just like, I at the time, it didn't make sense. And it was what he was saying was not making sense or adding up or sounding any type of logical. But there was nothing I could show him to be like, hey, that's not what's true. Kilborn and his companion spend some quality time among the games. The two eventually end up getting close in a photo booth. Sometime later, the couple leaves holding hands. Cheaters trails the suspect and his unknown lady back to the female's residence. Kenneth drops the woman off. Cheaters tails him back to his parents' house. Ignorance is not bliss when it comes to cheating because be, just because you don't know that they're cheating, I feel like wherever he goes, whoever he's with, whatever public setting, you don't know when your friends are going to walk through. You don't know when his friends are going to walk through. Then it becomes a whole big joke. And everybody talks about it. And everybody knows except for you. And the feeling of people watching you walking together in the hallways, holding hands, kissing, this, this, and that, and knowing in the back of their mind that they just saw him out with another girl, that is embarrassing, disrespectful, and not worth it. I would rather know from the beginning than to be the only one to be played the fool and everybody else is laughing at me. Cheetah cut right to the chase. So I just want to make sure that you're ready to see what we've come up with. Oh, I'm ready. I'm so ready right now. All right. This is going to get it. Ooh. Irene, we begin our investigation outside of Kenneth's parents' home. We see him walk out. He gets into his vehicle, and he leaves. As Kenneth drives away, he arrives at another neighborhood, gets out, and he walks up to this home, goes to the front door. Short time later, we see him emerge with this unknown female in the white jacket. He has his arm around her. They get into Kenneth's vehicle together. Mm. They arrive at a family entertainment center, park the vehicle, and walk inside mm. together, holding hands. They then play some air hockey, 
Who is who is that? After a few moments in that family center, they leave together holding hands, get into the vehicle. They return to her residence where he drops her off and then he goes home. Continuing on with our investigation, Irene, we begin outside of Kenneth's parents' home. Sometime later, he comes out, gets into his car, and leaves. He arrives at that same home and picks up that unknown female again. As our detectives follow the two of them, they arrive at a restaurant, park the vehicle, and walk inside together holding hands. You still don't recognize that woman? She is not at all familiar. <laughs> he really is smiling. They go inside the diner, sit down together in the same booth next to each other. During this time, Irene, he receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation. Okay. Hey, man, what are you doing? I had to check out. I had to take a shit to the store real quick. Oh, really? Yeah, what's up? No, nothing. I was just trying to bed. I wanted to see how your day was. I knew he was lying. I should have known. But she got his own car. I should Yeah, he gets off the phone with you after completely lying, saying he has to finish up things at work returns to the diner, walks right inside, sits right back down next to this unknown female. After they finish up with the diner, you see her smiling as he escorts her out of the restaurant. They get into his vehicle and they leave. As our detectives follow the two of them, they return to her residence where he drops her off and then he goes home. Irene, to get right down to things because we're running out of time here, Kenneth arrived at a restaurant cafe where this woman was waiting. They're there together right now. We get there fast enough, we can confront the two of them. Of course. Let's go. I'll be right by your side and we're coming up on it. It's right here on the right. Make a right. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, everybody out. This way, this way. Right. Here, go ahead. Let's get her up in front. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Ah, hell no. Ah, hell no. Oh, that's cute. What's, what's going on? What's, what's all it is? What is all this? What are you doing? I'm not, I'm studying. Oh, studying? I'm studying. Oh, the studying? Yes. Are, are you, you sure? I'm not trying to quench your thirst. I'm not trying to quench your thirst. Look at a little what thirsty the Hey, bro, get the out of here, bro. Hey, chill, bro, chill, bro, chill, bro. Back up, man. Kenneth, 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 Kenneth,
you don't know. We was there. I'll tell you. Why come you here. In the red, man. come here. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Go calm down. What happened? Go calm down. You calm down. Listen, he's been together with her for three years. They moved. They both moved home after college, but they were still together. So that is exactly why we're here. He's been distant for the past couple months. He obviously, did he tell you I'm he had a girlfriend? Here, bro, I got my so he here, lied man. to you and he cheated on her. He's been with her since high school. That is his high school oh, sweetheart. No, obviously man, something what's y'all talking about? She's something down on the isn't working out with him because he's with me. Relax, am I, am I, am I, am I yelling at you? You're not yelling at me, bro. So let me just, let me just show you. What y'all showing me, I'll show you right now. You want to see it? Back up, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all security supposed to be controlling all this. Y'all ain't doing Can't nothing. It. What y'all even got security for if they gonna keep fighting? You look pretty happy right there with your arm around her. Okay, yo, it was me. That was Obviously, you? That's me. Oh, that was you? Oh, that was you? Oh, that was you? Oh, that was you? That's you? Nothing, man. She live with her mama. Man, she good, bro. Okay, so hey, who's this? Around, what, who when you step out and you get this conversation right here, when you say it was your oh, brother, man. this doesn't sound like your brother. Uh, you should listen. Keep in mind, you're inside, sitting at the table. And that's a That's a Liar. Who is she? What are you doing? What are you talking about? You love me. You love me? Oh, you love her? You love her, Kenneth? But you're what? You, you love, love her? her? What's going on, Kenneth? You love her? What's going on, oh, you Kenneth? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who's been with you for three years, Kenneth? No. Sorry. You love I'm her, sorry. Kenneth? No, 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 no. no Kenneth. Who's with you I'm when sorry. you had all that going on? Yeah, Who's been okay. with you you was my best friend. I love you. You love her too, Dang. apparently. What you talking about? You told her you love her. Don't do that Come to on, me. Come on, I've been this for four no. months. Really, really? Four really? months? You've been talking to her for four months. Since we moved out, y'all start talking. Is that what you listen, say right listen, now? Listen, listen. Is that what listen, you say right now? Calm down. Now? Take a deep breath. So, calm down. Why don't you tell her about it? Because I'm your girl. Way. If she your study buddy. Let's go. If she your study buddy. What are you doing? No. You didn't tell me nothing about this girl. Well, I don't you didn't tell me yes, about. you do. Man, what? I'm not. Come on. I don't no. see. We, we, just, we just decided. No. We just decided. I don't care what. Just decided what? What the? Wait. Hell no. Look. Kenneth? What the? Get this crazy. Oh. Kenneth? What the? Hey. What's wrong with that girl, man? What the? Get that. What the? What? What do you? All right, you ready? I'm <laughs> you got everything oh you need? God. You want your laptop? Yeah, you can replace oh, you want your laptop? laptop? Oh. You can replace this laptop. Oh, yeah, you Was this yours? Was this yours? Was this? Shit. Was this? Was this? Oh, oh, back off, back off, you, man. That back that you off. Yeah. You crushed her life. What are you talking about, bro? I need that for That's school. Bro. You need that for school? I need that for yeah. school. That's worth money. Priceless. This is cool. You want this We're not going to replace anything. Everyone, let's load up. Let's get out of here. Where are you going? I'm not doing this, Kenneth. Where are you going? You find hey, a ride home. Find about? a ride home. I'm not doing this. Oh, well, come on, man. Our relationship is over. <laughs> Listen, I understand that, but you know what? You got to realize that he's disrespected you on all different levels. Oh, man. To every girl out there in a relationship, three, five, 10, 15 years, don't think that you are an exception to the rule. Anybody can break your heart. Anybody out there is not okay. Don't ever settle for somebody who ever cheated on you once, twice, whatever, it's not okay at all. Never. Cheating is not okay. It's the most disrespectful thing I can ever do to you, ever. Thank you for that. Coming up next, Cheaters revisits a previous case from its archives. We were just drinking, you know, not laughing, making jokes, you know. And all of a sudden, I hear banging on the window, and I was like, oh my God.